Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you a new great tool for creating local fog in a real engine 5.4. And yes, I said Unreal 5.4 because as anticipated in the recent state of Unreal 2024 event, the preview one of the new Unreal Engine is now available for download from the Epic Launcher. I'm pretty excited to show you this because at the time of recording, this stuff is so new that this one is probably the first video on YouTube about local fog volumes. So without further ado, let's see how it works. First thing to have is the new 5.4 Preview 1 version of the engine installed and ready to go. When inside the engine, we can go to Add to Project, Visual Effect and select Local Fog Volume. Moving the camera a little away, we can see the fog appearing, but you may notice that if we go close to it, it disappears. But no worries, we'll fix this in a moment. For now, let's see which the available parameters are. At the moment, the fog volume can only be contained in a sphere, meaning that no matter if we try to scale it along all axes or just one, it will scale uniformly. On a level design perspective, this is somewhat limiting because you might want the volume to be contained inside a room, for instance, and rooms usually are not circular, but you can overcome this issue by placing multiple volumes and tweak their parameters accordingly. I guess it could be useful if Epic will make other shapes available in the future, and maybe they will. Anyway, back to our local fog volume we just placed in the level. Its behavior is controlled by four parameters. One for the radial distribution and three for the height distribution. The radial fog density defines how rapidly the fog fades from the center of the sphere bounding box. The slider goes from 0 to 2. You can go higher by entering number manually, but I guess it's rarely needed. The height fog density works the same way, but the engine calculates the final effect by combining its value with the height fog falloff and offset values. The reason why the height has more controls is because the, by default the engine simulates a realistic fog that fades when height increases like in the real world, but it lets define the fog behavior to match the user's artistic style and needs. We can change the smoothness of this fading by changing the height falloff value. In fact, lowering it will make the transition smoother, while increasing it will make it the fading sharper. The height fog offset, instead, controls the starting zone of the fog fading along the vertical axis. It's important to note that the axis calculations are relative, meaning that if we rotate the fog volume, the horizon line will follow the rotation. This could be useful when you want to align the fog along a sloped path, for instance. Ok, now let's fix the view distance problem we saw at the beginning. And when I started messing around with these new fog volumes, I immediately noticed the problem. So I checked the options available, but unfortunately I didn't see anything that could help. It was strange because it looked like Epic wanted to suggest us to use these volumes only at medium and long distances. But usually effects like this are computationally expensive, so having them everywhere but near the player or the camera sounded really strange. And to make things even more awkward, there was the complete absence of a threshold in the editor interface. So I decided to dig in the Unreal Engine 5.4 code base and after some code jumping, tada! I found a setting that controls the starting view distance of the local fog volumes. The default starting distance is 2000 units. We can lower it at like 20 to be able to finally approach the fog and travel through it. You can set this parameter through the Real Engine console at the bottom of the screen. You can just type the parameter name followed by a space and the desired value and press enter. The effect is immediate. Now moving the camera close to the fog doesn't make it disappear and this also applies if we run the game with our character. Next up we have the coloring options. They are quite straightforward. We have a fog albedo parameter 
that easily allow us to control the fog color. And we also have the option to make the fog glow by using the fog emissive parameter. This could be useful when the scene is partially or completely dark and we want to enhance the presence of the fog. Note that if you have lights in your scene, you might need to tweak one or both of these parameters according to the style or atmosphere you want to present to the user. Speaking of light, the last thing to cover is indeed lighting. Right now our fog is cool but not that realistic and that's why its interaction with lighting is not calculated volumetrically. First of all, the level needs to have the exponential light fog actor and a light source in it. Right now I'm using the third person template that already has a directional light and the exponential light fog in it, but be sure to add them if needed before continuing. Then we need to go on the exponential light fog parameters and check the volumetric fog option. Now you can see that our local fog volume has a more realistic interaction with light and it's fully dynamic. So moving any light that illuminates it will produce a real time change. Okay guys, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful somehow. If you did, remember as always to like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to take your support to the next level, be sure to check out my Patreon page in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep on creating and cheers!